Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it truly does make my day. And today, the Baroness's racetrack is getting an update. Now, I already went through and read the news website, but it didn't record. Oopsies. So, we are just going to get right into the video then, and let's go. Let's go. That's a little fancy. Okay, so basically, you log in and you get a text message, but there's also this. Your favorite tack is now retrofitted to Gen 3. Arabians, Lusitanos, and English Thoroughbreds, so you can like, you know, wear the tack on those horses. And okay, but the loading screen took a while, but it was definitely cute. I mean, I, when I saw the Baroness's racetrack, I was not expecting Star Stable to go all out, but they went all out, so we're going to check it out. It's me, Linda! You have to come here! I need you for moral support! I'll explain more in person. Alright, Linda, <laughs> let's go. You won't believe what the Baroness is up to after 10 years she's finally decided it's time to take care of her racetrack and i'm really excited actually because this is one of my favorite races it takes it's literally just like a circle around for 200 experience what could be better what could be better i don't know you tell me bestie it's like the best race in star stable so far and if it's aesthetically pleasing i will not be mad i will love that actually okay ah Oh, oh my gosh, what? Oh, that's so weird to see her like that. That's so weird. Thank 18, you're here just in time for the madness to begin. The Baroness is at it again. No, she's not logging anyone in Silverglade Castle. <laughs> that was last time. That was all a misunderstanding. We're good now. It's something even worse. Just listen, she'll tell you soon enough. Lindy, you've brought along a companion. Splendid, you are very welcome, Mark. I have the most wonderful news to share with you. And with all of you are Vic. After much anticipation, I'm announcing my annual awareness campaign for my unfinished racetrack. I do so hope the community can gather around together to help complete the track once and for all. Of course, I could call in GED, but you know the kind of job they do of it. Nah, we need good people to do it. How many years have you been campaigning for this now? Why, that would be 10 and counting, Linda. And with each year, the public interest goes grows stronger, I tell you. This guy, Krusty, he didn't get an update. No, what do we have planned for this year, ma'am? I do so enjoy our yearly adventures around the island. Well, Godfrey, this year, I thought we'd take our adventures to the cap. We go to Yorvik City and say why it's important. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, let's do that. Oh, good idea. Oh, not enough space. Bye. Well, typical. I'm, I've been trying to convince Godfrey for, to give us a ride for ages. Well, I guess I'm hoofing it back to Yorvik City by bus. At least it gives me enough time to mentally prepare for the aftermath of another failed attempt to build the racetrack. What do you say, Margaret? Want to join me for the adventure. We can't say no, so. Anything for horses. That's the spirit. I'm not really sure what your big city is the best place to take this. You go down to the bus stop and then go. Okay, so we have to go and campaign for it first. All right, we're going to Governor's. The problem is I don't know where the bus stop is here, so I'm going all the way to Fort Pinta to take the bus to the Governor's Hall and then I'll be back. So where is Fort Pinta? Also, don't mind my horse has no tack. I was taking pictures of with him and uh did like tacking up a little bit there so you know it's fine we're all good okay where did she say we have to come in at because i was kind of not paying attention not gonna lie go to governor's fall in your big city the baroness will be outside the prima donna lounge across the street from leonardo's prima donna lounge must be over here somewhere then oh i see i see i see okay over here over here we got a little protest over here it's not it's not technically. It's like diagonally across. Okay. Well, here we are and there's the Baroness. But where are all the people? Oh my gosh, those are our children. Greetings, people of Yorvik City. I am Baroness Annabelle Silverglade of the Silverglade family and today I bring you a proposal. For hundreds of years, the Silverglade family has been the mo modicum of dignity and respect across all of Yorvik. My family helped shape the equestrian traditions of the island into what it is today. From funding stables and stalls nationwide to ensure a promising future 
future for young riders with the Silverglade Riders Foundation. My family has always sought ways to connect and give back to the community that has taken care of us so well. This is why I'm standing here today speaking to each and every one of you. Yes, you and you too. This year, it is my mission to rebuild the Derrilla racetrack that sits on my family's ancestral grounds. And in the themes of community effort and spirit, I look to you, the people of Jorvik, to help me with this project. We require blueprints for a new layout, the people and horsepower to set up the equipment. There will also be a need for decorations and the finishing touches with a splash of greenery. Rest assured, there will be many ways to get involved. Now, what do you say? Will we do this? Rough, rough. Anyone? My right-hand man, Gro Godfrey, stands to my side with a sign-up sheet for interested parties. A raise of hands would be appreciated. I'll help. I can uh, find a day or two off of civic duties, I suppose. Prince Charming's birthday tomorrow, but I guess we can cut it short. Would you look at that? Delightful. I think you'll need more help than that. Would you like a hand down? Perhaps we should try approaching the public. I didn't ask for your comments, Godfrey. I don't need help from this darn thing. I don't ride horses for half a century to have someone tell me off of a milk crate. Now, if I could just get back into my purse. However, yes, I think it's about time we made an exit. The crate in your purse? But that's impossible. How will it fit? Everything is possible. Even the impossible. Now close your mouth, please, Linda. We are not caught. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. What would city dwellers care for an old lady's dipolite racetrack? Don't worry. There's always next year. Next year? I don't know how much longer these old bones still have left. Come on, Godfrey. Let us take our leave before I tarnish the Silverglade reputation any further. Oh my goodness. That was awkward. I feel bad for the Baroness. Yes, we should help. Every year she tries to get interest, but nobody seems interested. Her heart's in the right place, but I think she finds it harder to connect with the people of the island. Wait, that gives me an idea, Margaret. You're always riding around the island speaking to people, aren't you? Yeah, because that's uh, my job, apparently. I help besties out. You must made quite a lot of friends by now. Let's take matters into- are you using me, Linda? <laughs> You're using me? Oh my gosh, as Yidris, he's good. Approach people around Yorvik to raise awareness. I think Yidris. Um, uh, ha, can you imagine? No? Bestie, that was just my idea. Let's ask Jed. You heard the Baroness, she wants a community effort. Okay, well, there's the only one answer then, Bestie, Linda. Why you ask me? Me at Silverglade Manor. Okay, and now we have to run all around town trying to get besties to help us. No way! I just got to the bus and it ricocheted me back! What is this? Okay, let's go back to Fort Pinta, then take the trailer to Silverglade Manor, and then hire some people to help us decorate the place, fix the place, all that lovely stuff. Text message from Linda. It would be so cool if, like, the text message feature was something that you could, like, use in game. You know, like, you could just text the NPCs and they'd have responses. It would be kind of dumb, but, you know, it's a good idea. All right, here we go. Silverglade Manor. You know, Silverglade Manor, when you're ready. I am ready. I, I didn't know I had to click the text, to be honest. Did you have a good time? I picked up the latest book release, and who knows? Let's tell the Baroness about our idea. She's not the easiest person to convince, but don't worry, I can take the lead. As her assistant, I have experience trying to convince her about things. Another year that I lay my eyes upon that unsightly shamble of a racetrack, what would my family think of me? Lady Silverglade, could we speak to you for a second? Now, oh, Linda, what did I tell you? Call me Annabelle. Lady Silverglade is my mother. Yes, Annabelle, Margaret and I have been talking, and we have a suggestion to make. A way to help rebuild the racetrack once and for all. That does sound promising, though perhaps a little ambitious. Please go on. There was a way that we can explain how much the racetrack means to the island. I can take charge of the organization stuff. I've juggled writing with the Jorvik Gazette, keeping on top of my studies, and riding after school with Meteor. Margaret practically knows everyone on Jorvik, so they've totally got the social aspect covered. Goodness, I'm not quite sure how to react. It's clear to me that you've both been thought deeply about this. I love the idea. I would be more than happy to support you. You mean it? It was that easy? Great. Okay. We're perfectly capable of it. Now we're just going to have to ride around recruiting people. Let's get to asking people. Take it to the village. Okay, ask around Silverglade and Moreland. Okay, the two areas. Okay, so Silverglade is actually not Silverglade Castle. 
It, it, I mean, Vineyard, it is Steve's. Wait, that's my home stable. What? You look like someone who has 10 different places to be. Bernet, it sounds like quite the job, but I'm willing to help. Oh, yes. Yes, Hugh, yes. I mean, not that guy. Um, it's a uh, ranger. That's what it is. Agantha and Bjorn. Whoa, careful. It's Margaret. They helped us create our beautiful gardens. Yeah, let's help. Woo. Okay, there we go. We got hired another person. We're not hiring the mayor, apparently. We don't want the mayor to help out. Okay, where is another person that can help? Um, you're just in time. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I want to help. Okay, those besties are helping now, too. And we have one more person at Jorvik. And how convenient it was that everyone was just there when we needed their help. I, it's, it's magical. It's just really, it's really inspirational. <laughs> Be there when someone needs help. Brought to you by Star stable okay let's go to moreland and recruit recruit our last bestie and then we could finally get to building this lovely new racetrack okay it's a little bit glitched i'm not getting any like talking for some reason i'm just getting oh okay well now no no that's not <laughs> that's not what i wanted i was like wow 250 experience that's a lot but i need to click this without okay there whatever it is you need to help we can't Ow! Oh, that's so mean. They're not helping. Isn't she a part of the Bobcats though? Looks like you're down on your luck. Everyone's busy these days. Have you tried Josh from Starshine Ranch? Okay, we have to go all the way back. Wait, why do I not have map icons? That would be- Oh my gosh, wait, we don't even have to go to Starshine. See, everyone is here. How do you do? You've caught me just in time. I was about to head back. What is up? Okay, we need your help. The Baroness is building her racetrack. Well, I'd be darned. I expected Northlink to open up then that old racetrack to ever be finished. Ew! Little area spoiler, maybe. I know well enough how hard it could be to raise something from nothing. Starshine Ranch used to be nothing but grass and tumbleweeds, you know? Of course, I can help out. Okay, there we go. And now we head back. Yes, we do head back. I was just struggling to see that. We head back to Silverglade Manor. Dun -dun -dun, I sprint through that. Everyone was invited. Great, Margaret. Let's announce it to everyone. Let's go over to the racetrack and announce it then because apparently every bestie's already there waiting for us. Hi everyone! What? Oh, it updated! I didn't even see that! Hi everyone! Wow, this is quite the crowd. First off, thank you all for coming. This means a lot. As we all know, the Baroness's racetrack has been left in this state for quite some time. Of course, you can ride around it now, but how awesome would it be to all band it together and make it even more awesome? With a little bit of effort and teamwork, I'm certain we can do it. Woohoo! Let's do that. Great. Let's rest up today and get ready for the big day tomorrow. Everyone, let's meet here early tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, is this a timed one? <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to go and buy this so we can access the rest of the quest. I did not know Star Stable would add a roadblock to it. Not gonna- I did not know that. Okay, where can we spend the night? Is it like Moreland? Well, spend the night. I need to show you guys the next part of the quest. There's apparently 24 hours is worth 75 star coins. It's a beautiful new day. Kind of like the sim. Right, Baroness's racetrack. Let's go. Oh my gosh, there's no way. This looks so good. I w and they got all this from a mini area. Welcome back. Things have been really picking up since we last spoke. Let me show you what's happening. The racetrack has finally come together. The grandstand is completed. And look how nice the stables look now. All in all, I think it's really coming together. Garnock may work hard, but your Wiggins with a motive work harder. Wait a minute. What's he doing here? Uh-oh, is he gonna be Karen and be like, like, didn't get a permit <laughs> or something. I feel like I feel like he has just a Karen type person that I don't know. He ha! So the farmers and equestrians get to work like ants. Maybe I should hire some to come work for me. Though I don't really like my workers to have autonomy. <laughs> and Linda just teleported like I have autonomy. The people of Jorvik trying to build something of their own. How ants? Uh, wow, he thinks we're going for his career. You're playing with fire here. Just know that your attempts to bring the racetrack to life are futile. This lowly excuse for a racetrack sits on the border of Jedi sanctioned land. All it takes is for you to go over that line with a blade of grass and we can claim ownership of everything. Only a matter of time before the land falls into the hands of Jed and I could do something great with it. A swimming pool here, a golf course there, and not a single horse pasture in sight. We'll see how long this charade lasts. I'll be back to gloat some more. Oh, what? 
Oh, what a dumb beetle! Something tells me he's scheming. Let's keep an eye on him. Well, unlike Mr. Kemble, we have work to do. Cape West Fishing Village. Why didn't you just order the package here, Linda? I thought you were street smart. Like, you have- Order the package to be delivered here. Okay, maybe I'm the delivery person. Oh my gosh, the trailers are over there. Okay. Huh, is all of you, you're telling me you're expecting to lug this Hulken container all by yourself. That won't do. Don't worry, I have a plan. Just take the non-suspicious looking truck. Mwahaha. I love how much detail this truck has. It's so- Oh my gosh! Oh, that's kind of funny. Wait, I need a picture of this. That is so cool. Okay, now we have to go all the way back to Silverglade. I have no clue what the point of us going to Cape West was if Linda just had a pack. I feel like Linda wanted to get rid of us for some reason. I don't know, but she had someone already doing the delivery. Like, duh. Hey again, I told Kima to book it as fast as she could. That thing must be huge. Oh my gosh, and there's a statue. That was the statue. I love it. There are some more things to do before it's ready to open. Reyna and Sigri have been kind enough to supply us with Miss Fall's finest timber for the structures, and the rangers will need some help lifting heavy stuff. Lastly, Mel and Talia need to grab some packages to add the finishing touches. Tried asking Agnatha if she needed help with anything with the plans, but she waved her chainsaw around in an effort to get me to back off, so I guess not. Anyway, good luck with helping people. I'll just stand here and watch you help people. Great, Linda. Help Reyna build it. Owen called me and my mom, Sigri, and asked if we could help a friend out with some woodwork. Coming from a long line of shipbuilders, we know exactly what to do. So my mom and I helped supply the timber for the buildings around the racetrack. It's exciting. I don't think the Ver Far Ranger family have ever crafted something to this extent. What are we crafting, bestie? I am interested. Reyna's probably one of my favorite NPCs in the game. This one's perfect, you know. Most of the buildings in Mistfall were built in part by my ancestors. Perfect. And now we have another one over here. Wow, but the racetrack looks so good like it actually does i was not a star stable just decided to go all out with this racetrack it is incredible okay and then we have one more you'd be saving the show if you grab the packages for us yes we could do that okay where are steve's it's okay i have teleportation powers in star stable and they really help me out not gonna lie trailer is a imagine if there wasn't a trailer in star stable the quests would take 20 that's long. Oh, you know, let me just quickly go from Epona to Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur to help a bestie out. Okay, here's the package. One. What is this delivery person doing? They're like stirring it all around. And two more. That's a lot of packages, not gonna lie. They ordered quite a lot. Perfect. All the deliveries are here. You and Azurlin just saved the day. Thank you. And with the gold trim ruffles adorning the finish line, will invoke sense of glory that trials that the Odyssey joy at returning to Ithaca. Oh, you're back, and with the decorations too. Thank you, you're a star. Oh, they're so kind. Okay, we have one more group to help. I don't know what the decorations really did, but Baroness's racetrack is so big though. I, I don't even know. It's, it's gonna take me a while. All right, a drop bear. Okay, and now we just have to place some signs, it looks like, around to make sure that you don't get lost, because I know that happens, Busted. Like, I'll get lost at one point. Wait, why? Oh, we don't want anyone going here. Okay, that makes that makes more sense. Let's go and one over here. That was really hidden. That was a really hidden one. Okay, and one over here. Let me, can I even get across? Maybe. That's it. We're done. We can take it from here. Thank you. Awesome. Can we try it out? Yeah, I'm really excited to try it out because big the Baroness's racetrack is now though. It was my favorite because how short it was. Not even even gonna lie it was like just a quick around a circle and then you get 200 experience now it looks like there might be some more stuff involved all right let's get that done get that done there's a shop too okay we're, we're definitely checking that out we have to and woodworking is complete as well that bestie has a pink hat i love it hmm and it's empty wait that means we're done we did it we finished yes at first the baroness herself would like to say a few words to us all let's gather around and hear what she has to say.
say. Hello everyone. Yes, it's final. The racetrack is completed. These grounds have been generations of Silverglades residing at the seat of my historical family home, Silverglade Manor. It is on these very grounds that Floris Ann learned to ride and where her father, impressed by her tenacity, built a racetrack on the spot we stand today. She went to become the first Jorvik woman to compete professionally in horse racing. In fact, it was this land that I developed through a long line passion for horses. That is until today. Thank you, the honorable people of Jorvik. My family racetrack has been restored to its former glory. I cannot wait to see the track in use again. And the biggest thanks goes to you, Linda and Margaret. Without them, this whole thing would have never come together. Awesome. Oh, we get a ribbon? If we, okay, so this is what the new Baroness's racetrack will look like. I'm excited to test it out. Okay, so it's only one turn around, maybe? I don't know. I feel like Star Stable is going to add more than one race to this racetrack because quite a lot. It looks really, it looks really nice, not gonna lie. I, I was not expecting that. It looks so good. It, it really does. Like, I can't even complain. Look at this. It looks, and we even got a horse statue. Like, it's so good. We have a horse statue. It makes me so happy. I love the horse statue. I don't even know what about it. I just, I really do love it. And people cheering. We have to go around again? Oh my. All right then. I guess we shall, but my horse is kind of slow. Um, okay. We need to like stay close to the center and that should make it a little bit shorter, but like by a half a second, you know, very nice. Technically, this is a racetrack though. And they made it like, so now you could do races. I, I feel like Star Stable should add one where you could like race with your friends just because I feel like a lot of people would use that since we don't normally have a lot of racetracks in Star Stable just like without jumping or anything like that. So that is called the first lap. And that is the first race. I don't know if there will be another one or not. Possibly. Oh, I was like, why is there so many people here? But it's literally because there's so many people here. All right. And my oh my, now the grand finale. All these people and you cop together this toy racetrack. What a joke. What do you think you're doing here? Now live. Oh, but I am. You see, I've been keeping an eye on you. Bringing together the peasants of Yorvik into forced labor. How resourceful. Who does this guy think he is? The owner of this land that's who. I have proof that Jed has rights to this land. That statue is sitting in the center was crafted by my workers. Time to seize the land. That's enough, Simon. Miss Drake, I have it all covered. You don't need to be here. Get back to your time. Don't you need something better to do than nose around back in Jed Silverglades business? Ugh, put your claws away, Kemble. You're impressing no one or fooling them either. Stealing the racetrack right under their noses. Really? You do realize these people put hard work in, right? You don't have a case. Yes, but well, enough run along with whatever you're proposing next. Apologies, everyone. That was some confusion surrounding which Jed representatives attend the gathering to- Okay, anyways. It's Margaret, why is he talking like that? Like he could ba like she can barely get out her words. And that fake smile looks painful. We at Jed think that your vegan's passion for horses is inspiring. As an olive branch, Jed has collaborated with Mr. J. Sandman to donate a statue modeled after the Baroness's prized racehorse back in her competition days. I won't halt the celebration any longer. Sandman, oh, I think I have to lay it down. And on that note, let the celebrations commence. That was fishier than Cape West, don't you think? And I feel like this would be a nice area to have club events as well, in case you wanted to do that. So there is definitely a lot. I do want to check out the shop. Oh, there's some new tag. That's so cute. Okay, I do really love the new tag. But a bow on the back. Okay, I'm definitely getting that in a little bit. But um, yeah, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, please be be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already because it truly does make my day and I hope you have the best day ever besties. Let me know what you think of this update down in the comments down below as it was definitely quite a lot but it looked amazing and I feel like there is room for a quest line in the future so definitely staying tuned for that and yeah bye!